Hi guys, I'm Kay, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be discussing a highly requested video which is how to become a software developer having not written a single line of code before. So this video is just going to be a quick explanation on how on my journey on how I became a software developer um, having not done any coding as um, at all. It took me about eight months, some people it takes a little bit less, some people a little bit more but I just want to be as real with you as possible um, just so you have something to benchmark yourself against. So one of the first questions that you're normally asking yourself when you're first starting to think about learning to code is which programming language should I start with? And there's always that fear in the back of your mind where what if the language I learn is not the best for jobs? So you don't need to worry too much about that. Um, it's all about learning the concepts. That being said, some languages are more beginner friendly than others. Um, I started with Python. I would uh, recommend either Python or Ruby um, just because they read a little bit more um, easily, more like English, whereas languages such as Java or C Sharp, you have to concern yourself with all these um, squiggly brackets and semicolons and whatnot everywhere. And it can be a bit daunting when, you, when you're a beginner just starting to learn to code. So that being said, um, I started with a couple of different resources to learn Python. I used Udemy, um, so I used a really good course called Python Bible. I used Codecademy, which is basically a tutorial based website. And I also use an app called Solo Learn. And the reason why I use an app is because I was also working full time from eight till six, so 10 hours a day. And I wanted to learn whilst um, commuting because um, I felt like my time was wasted sitting on the train and also um, if I had some time during lunch, I just wanted to do a little bit of quick revision um, and testing there as well. So I spent about a month doing that, just understanding the basics and fundamentals. So I went through um, the Python Code Academy course. I did the Python Bible course on Udemy. And I also did a fair amount of stuff on um, Solo Learn as well um, in terms of Python, as well as um, <clears throat> just a little bit on understanding databases as well. So a bit of SQL. So I did that for the month and then um, the following month, so March 2019, um, a friend of mine recommended I check out coding boot camps. So a boot camp is essentially sort of like a condensed computer science degree. It um, teaches you mostly the coding aspect as well as how to work like a developer. So um, working in agile teams, paired programming. So I decided to attend an open day for a boot camp called Makers Academy and it was a demo day so there was people had just finished the boot camp and they were demonstrating their final projects to members of the public and you can go see interact with the projects ask questions so it's pretty cool um, some of the projects were really really interesting someone made a karaoke version of Spotify so plays a song and then people can vote on which song they want to play next and there were some other interesting projects as well but it allowed me um, the opportunity to ask some questions in terms of like price what they cover in the curriculum, how many people get employed within say the first few months and yeah it was pretty good. Um, I decided to look at other boot camps during that month as well just so I could get a good breadth of what exactly there was out there and yeah so I carried on um, working on my own self-learning. I decided to pick up two more additional platforms to apply what I'd learned so up till now I'd done very tutorial based learning. I wasn't solving too many questions or doing challenges so I picked up two different platforms, one called Code Wars and one called HackerRank. Now HackerRank is a bit more structured in terms of the modules that you do. Um, you, are, you do get asked a lot of questions. These questions are quite often used in junior developer interviews as well. Um, they normally ask you to do a little challenge. And Code Wars is like HackerRank, but it's less structured. So you get to select the difficulty and you can just pick up any um, sort of challenge or question within their question bank that you feel like doing. And then as you solve them, you accumulate points, which increases your rank. So I spent the remainder of the month kind of focusing on that um, and also looking at the other boot camps. So when it came to April, um, I decided to apply for Makers Academy. So their process is a written application and a, and a code test in person. So I went and did the application. I did the code test in person. Um, it wasn't too difficult as long as you've done all of the stuff on Code Academy. Um, you should be fine and I then got off to start in May so during that month of May um, I decided to leave my job then and focus just purely on the bootcamp because it is very very difficult to juggle full-time work with the bootcamp you literally cannot do it um, it's quite intensive but it accelerates your learning a lot more than if you're just purely self-teaching so the bootcamp lasts about four months one month is 
take home uh, material that you kind of work through on your own and then the remaining three months is all on site so I spent that month of May kind of just working through that material a lot of it was very git focused so learning how to use github as well as um, kind of going back through the fundamentals of data structures conditional flow classes etc so when I started in September, um, you literally start um, day one pair programming with other people on the bootcamp just to get you into that developer mindset and then you're doing a lot of um, working in agile teams and tracking your um, requirements as user stories, a lot of stuff that you would do as a junior developer. So throughout that bootcamp, I learned a lot of stuff um, that's relevant to what I'm doing right now. Um, including working with the web, APIs, HTTP, um, databases, all of that stuff uh, which is relevant in pretty much most uh, software development roles. So that led me up to September 2019 is when I finished the bootcamp and I had my own demo day there with my team and we create a virtual reality application which is kind of like Pac-Man but rather than Pac-Man chasing you, um, sorry, rather than the ghosts chasing you in Pac-Man, um, you have Donald Trump's chasing you around a maze and you've got a headset on and you're running away from him. Um, it's, it was a really, really cool application, uh, really fun to build and show off as well. And yeah, so throughout that month of September and October, I then had to set my own pace for how I wanted to uh, apply for jobs. Um, so I split my day up into two halves. Half of it was working on my own personal coding projects just so I could continue learning and the other half was applying to jobs. What's really good about a bootcamp is you're not applying just externally, they have hiring partners that are partnered with the bootcamp. So they'll come in and they'll kind of pitch the company at you and you can apply it internally for their positions. So I did that for quite a few companies, um, applied for Deloitte, Ernst & Young, an asset management firm and out of those I had my interviews so the interviews were quite varied um, one of them was uh, pair programming for Ernst & Young um, there was also a tech test one for the asset management firm and Deloitte was more competency based so I ended up getting offers from Deloitte and the asset management firm I decided to go with the asset management firm in the end just because I didn't want to go back to that sort of consultancy based lifestyle um, even in a software development role I just didn't want to travel around too much so I've been at that company now for about um, coming up to a year definitely learned a lot especially when it comes to DevOps and just uh, my own practices with um, working in a very multidisciplinary team so we have a business analyst in our team scrum master etc so that was essentially my journey so I had that interview um, in October received the offer during that month to start in November so from February up to October is how long it took me to go from zero code up to my first job offer. That was about eight months for me. Um, like I said, it can be a little bit less, a little bit more depending on the person. But I hope this video has been insightful for you. Um, and if it's been helpful, if it's um, something that you are looking to get into, then feel free to leave any questions below in the comments. I will try and be as responsive as possible. If you know anyone interested in software development, getting into it, then please share the video with them. And please do um, like and subscribe just to support my channel. And like I said, I hope this video has been insightful for you and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.